Hi friends and welcome back to my coloring channel. Um, this image is one that I colored in February for the uh, event by Epic Events. And on Instagram, I was asked if I had a yeah a call along video for this image, but unfortunately, I don't have one because I selfishly because I selfishly colored this image on my own, just relaxed while I was watching all those streams. And uh, but I thought today I will share. Uh, my color combinations with you. So if you really like this color scheme that you would be able to follow um, Yeah, this look and This is the Faye Darling by Christine Karen and she has a line art and a grayscale version of it And I use the grayscale um, version so I think when you use my color combinations together with the grayscale image of this page then yeah, you should be able to achieve a similar look to mine if you wish so. So let's get started. For her skin, I have used, so actually I use the, um, my go-to um, skin color combination that I often use, and it is um, the light peach, peach, Nectar, then henna, it is um, the blush pink, and the burnt ochre for some shadows. And I always start with the peach color to um, give some, uh, some shading here. Then I darken the shadows with the nectar. On her cheeks I would go in with the henna. And also around the nose a little bit and I always blend it out with um, nectar so blend it out with nectar um, then when you've got enough shading on it I'll do an overall layer with the light peach to bring everything together and then I go in with the blush pink but be, be careful um, only use the blush pink when you already have some layers of uh, colors down Otherwise, this color would be way too pink. So, but when you have your layers down, then you can blend in those cheeks in the uh, light peach beautifully with this color. I also use this around the nose and under her chin and a little bit here on the eyes. And then the last step would be just the um, burnt ochre to really deepen up a few of those shadows around her face, under the chin, here around the nose area, under the nose here in her um, eye, crease of her eyes and um, that's actually the skin done and as we have the grayscale yeah you can actually just follow the shadows that are given here and for her lips I would use just nectar, henna, mahogany red and blush pink so a selection of those colors I would only um, add this Mahogany red for the uh, darkest shadow part, so in the yeah, crease of her lips, if I can say that. <laughs> and then yeah, <laughs> and then for her eyes, I have a selection of blue colors here. You can also see it here. And yeah, it is cloud blue. It is light cerulean blue, it is shiner blue, indigo blue, and for the eye white I use actually 30% warm grey and blend it out with white. Just to give a little bit of shadow because um, the eyeball is round and so we need to give a little bit of shadow. And the indigo blue I just use here where it is the darkest and also go around the eye a little bit. This is the highlight color, the cloud blue, so in the um, lightest area I blend it out. And these are my two mid-tones, just for giving a nice beautiful bluish color. And yeah, that is her eyes done. So, 
By the way, the little dragonfly, we will call it together uh, at the end of this video, after I have introduced all the other colors, then we will start and color this dragonfly together. For the hair and mushroom, you can use um, the same color combination actually. Uh, I use for my hair the Dervant Light Fast, but um, the color combination that I use down here on this um, mushroom would work just perfect for that too. You just, um, here I have a lot of highlight areas. So I use my light colors a little bit more. And on the hair, you could just use your darker tones a little bit more. And um, yeah, the colors that I have is uh, the salmon pink, the poppy red, then the crimson red, crimson like, and Tuscan red for the darker shadow. Just use this very sparingly actually. And then for the uh, mushroom stem, so to speak, um, I used the eggshell, peach beige, um, sienna beige, and 50% French grey. So, see here, these are the colors that I used here on the stem. And as I said, just follow the shadowing that is already given and it shouldn't be a problem. Greens. So I colored those leaves here uh, in yeah, green and also here a few green and I also colored the liquid. Wait, I just zoom you in a little bit. So I colored this liquid here in green color, her bra so to speak, and the leaves up here and for this green combination, I used cream for highlight and blending. Then my lightest tone is the lime, is the lime peel. Then I've got olive green. This is a very one of my favorite green tones actually. And for the darkest tone, I've used the dark green, and used this one very sparingly. This is just really for the darkest shadows a little bit. So then for the flowers and feather, I have used those colors here. So that means actually for this flower here, for this little feather here, and also here in her hair, we have some flowers. I just used, um, I started actually with the um, blue slate actually just here in the corners a little bit. I blended it out with the um, sky blue light and then I went over everything with white to really lighten it up because this actually should look like it was a yeah a white flower but we always have to give a little bit of shadow and um, yeah I really enjoy to do it in bluish tinted and also on this little uh, bottle I also used just yeah those three colors actually blue slate blended out with the um, bl um what was it sky blue light and a little bit of white here and I went around uh, with a white gel pen here on this um, bottle so then for her dress these are the colors that I have used and yeah it is no cream not actually <laughs> it is the um the deco yellow then canary yellow i think you can't really see the color names it is sunburst yellow then the um, cadmium orange hue for darker shades and a tiny bit of terracotta the terracotta i mainly used in here on this part together with the cadmium orange hue and also a little bit here on the side. Uh, in the middle I mainly use those um, three lighter colors actually. So just do a nice yellowish blend. And that's actually all. So now I think we can get started with the dragonfly coloring. Ah, one thing maybe, if you wonder what I used here on those really um, small pearls, the string I did with just with a golden gel pen. 
And then for the pearls, I actually used Liquid Pearls by Ranger and this is the color Silver Pearl. And I just did those um, little dots here. So I selected a few colors. I'm not sure if I will use all the colors, but I'm pretty sure that I will use PC 910 and this is true green because I will start with this color. Then I will use PC 905 and this is aqua aquamarine and I'm also going to use PC 105 and this is cobalt turquoise oh. turquoise and I also picked the uh, peacock green but I'm not really sure I'll put this in, but I write it down. PC 907. It is peacock green. And then we also need some blues. And therefore I would take PC 133. And this is cobalt blue hue. Okay. And the darkest blue will be PC 208. And this is in Dunthrone. In Dunthrone blue. Okay. So, and on the feathers, I think I will just add in a little bit of light aqua. So this is 9 nine two and it is light aqua plus white so and these are all the colors that i have pre-selected you know i hope <laughs> it will turn out nicely so let's try it i will start out with my true green and I start to color here on his um, yeah, little body, so to speak. This should be green. And I also start to color a little bit here on yeah, all the areas where it is a little bit lighter. I think this maybe also. Yeah. So this was my first layer. And now I would go in with the aquamarine and try to actually yeah, shade it a little bit. So and also Yeah, like this. Then my next darker color is the cobalt turquoise. Oops. And yeah. And I'm trying to get darker with it. Okay. Um, I'm not going in with the peacock green yet because I'm really not sure. I will use the cobalt blue hue to color in the um, hat of this little guy with blue color. And also blend this in now here because yeah, she has to look a little bit bluish as well. Mm 
Okay, I think I will use the uh, light aqua just a tiny little bit here on the face so that it's a little bit lighter to just blend it. Just, you know, just a tiny little bit. Okay. And now I think I will go in with the Indantium Blue. Here on his hat. To really darken up this um, darkest parts with a really nice blue color. Okay, so like this actually, I think this looks not too bad. Let's go in with the true green one more time to blend this maybe out a little bit here. And I think now I would use the peacock green just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. I think the peacock green definitely makes a difference for this little guy. And now I will use the white just here on his face a little bit to lighten it up. Also maybe here, just on the lighter spots, just a little bit. Yeah, to make him look um, glow a little bit and his eyes do you think that they will be black i guess so huh so i think those insects eyes are normally black so just color them black and his little <laughs> legs how you call them as well yeah. okay um okay i just put a little you know like a little white dot for his eyes and now i think for his feathers i will start with the light aqua and yeah just giving an overall layer with this color and those um <laughs> prisma colors are very crumbly today everything good in frame i hope so We will blend it out with white and lighten it. But now I will go in with my shiner. No, this is cobalt blue hue. And ah, now all the um, shading is a little bit gone, but I know that there were some shadows here in the yeah, top part of the wing, so to speak. And maybe it was even going down a little bit. Maybe like so. And I'm thinking, I think I will go over with, um, yeah, with a um, pearlescent watercolor later on. This will also lighten it up and it will obviously give a, a really nice shimmer. Oops. So, and now I will go in with the Indunstrum Blue to even darken this up a little bit. And 
I know this seems to be strange on wings, we always want them to look translucent, but I looked on some photos and they had this really nice blue color on her wings. Okay, now I'm trying to blend it out a little bit better with the light aqua. And Yeah, okay. Now I will go in with my white. Oops. I think that blends it out really nicely. It lightens it a little bit as well. I'm somewhat over, a little bit over, I don't know, something, I think the camera angle is not the perfect one. I'm just blending everything out with the white. So that's actually it. So and now I think I will um yeah, outline those wings. I just have to move it a little bit. I think this way you can also see better. Okay. Um, so that's the little guy. And now the last step would be that you, um, if you have like wing of stella or something you could use this for sparkle 
but you could also just um yeah use your um translucent opalescent um, watercolors so today i want to use the um, gansai tambi starry colors this is a um, shiny opalescent water-based um, pigment and in this um, set we have this really nice light color it's platinum i guess and i also use a water brush so here it is and i will just you know maybe drop yeah drop a little bit of water in here let this set for yeah i don't know uh, a little bit of time maybe a minute or so and then I would just grab something from this color actually I just want a tiny bit of it just so that I have a little bit of translucent, uh, translucent color in it I don't want it to be opaque actually because I just want it to go like nicely over I test it on my palette here I think I could add uh, maybe a little bit of water actually. So, can you see this? This is really watery. And maybe my brush is too wet now as well. Um, uh, okay, I will, I will just um, take off a little bit of the water here. And then grab a little bit more. I have to put it here. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just mixing a little bit of this pearlescent um, color with water. And then, you know, I'm actually just going over this wing here. And now it's a very, um, yeah, translucent. Very light, of course. Yeah, there's really a lot of water in it. Yeah, and you just actually need a tiny bit of it. Yeah, and this way I think it will be a lot nicer, actually. So, now I would need to let this dry. So, it's dry now, and um, this is how it looks. So, as you can see, we have some really nice sheen on those wings. And I think that is quite nice for this dragonfly. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, video here. It was just a quick one. And um, yeah, I hope that it will help you a little bit if you consider to color this image. And I wish you a lot of fun with it. So see you in my next video. Until then, stay creative, happy coloring and bye!